It's time for a DigiKey unboxing. Let's take a look at the Raspberry Pi 5. The Pi 5 increases CPU performance by up to three times compared to the Pi 4, with a 64-bit quad-core ARM processor delivering improved memory and power management. Upgrades also include enhanced graphics performance and a PCIe interface. So, let's get started. Inside the box, you'll find handling instructions and a user guide along with your Raspberry Pi 5. The Raspberry Pi 5 is based on a quad-core 64-bit ARM Cortex-A76 CPU with cryptography extensions, a 4K P60 HEVC decoder, and two MIPI camera display transceivers. The Pi 5 also includes a standard 40-pin header, a real-time clock, four USB ports, dual micro HDMI, dual band Wi-Fi, Bluetooth 5.0, gigabit Ethernet, and a micro SD slot. In this demo, we're going to test object recognition using the Pi 5 and a web camera. To get started, you will need a power supply, micro HDMI cable, mouse, keyboard, and a USB webcam. It's also recommended to provide active cooling for the Raspberry Pi or have it enclosed in the official case. Plug your Pi 5 into a power supply and connect a display monitor with a micro HDMI cable. Connect your mouse, keyboard, and webcam in the USB ports. Next, run the following commands to update your Pi 5 and install the Edge Impulse dependencies in the terminal. Go to your browser to open the Edge Impulse Studio and log in, or create your account if you haven't already. Create a new project under your account icon, and then enter the following command in the Raspberry Pi 5 terminal to link up your hardware. In the Edge Impulse Studio, select Data Acquisition. In the Collect Data panel, enter the label name and select the camera for the sensor type. Start sampling multiple images of your object. In this demo, we're using a chess piece. While you're sampling, note that more samples will give you better accuracy. Select all your samples and move them to the test set. Select all the images you want to include and move them to the training set. Now select Labeling Queue at the top of the Data Acquisition window. Draw a box around your object, enter a label name, and click Set Label for each image in your queue. Click Create Impulse under Impulse Design and add an image processing block and an object detection learning block. Then save your impulse. Under Image Recognition, click Generate Features. Go to Object Detection and start training. Lastly, go to Model Testing and select Classify All. Now select Live Classification to start sampling in the Edge Impulse Studio. Or enter the on-screen command in your terminal to deploy the model locally. Thanks for watching.